What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. And you called me instead of Westridge? Lucky me. Been with Alpha Protocol long? Longer than you, so yeah, long enough. There a problem? I was just curious how you managed to get this mission instead of me. But if you don't want to tell me, that's fine too. I didn't ask for the assignment. It was given to me, and I didn't have much of a choice. All right. Strange, though. Why? It's a choice assignment, and they picked you over more experienced agents? They must think you're pretty special. Didn't get that feeling talking to Westridge. Hey, he talked to you, didn't he? Me? I got the Welcome to Alpha Protocol Stay on the Training Range and Don't Get Killed pamphlet. Even the hazing was delegated. Sounds like you're gonna be my handler when I infiltrate the Asamad camp. Yeah, I got stuck handholding you. Hope that's not a problem. I just want to make sure we've both got the mission in mind. Oh, I do. I think about it a lot. Especially the fact that you got the chance to go instead of me. But it won't keep me from helping you in the field if that's what you're worried about. The Alcimont detention camp, where they got the weapon stockpiles? Anything you can tell me? Getting satellite imagery of the area has been hard. My contacts haven't turned up much. What's the problem with the imagery? Camp's remote, and dug into the side of a canyon. Beautiful view, but lousy for spying from above. Any other intel you can give me? I'm still checking leads, but not much right now. The airliner going down has really scared my contacts. Been a bitch getting in touch with them. But as for getting into the detention center... The thing about the camp is weather. Sandstorms are hitting the area pretty hard. Which is to your advantage. How? It cuts down visibility for you and them. You need to sneak in before they know you're there. So just wait for the storm to kick up, then take them out. All right. Good to know. Oh, one other thing. They've dug in deep, with a maze of tunnels beneath the camp. If they've got any weapons down there, it's going to be a pain getting to them. Any reports on what they've got down there? It's the detention center, but no prisoners that we can tell. Westridge hopes they're storing the missiles there along with other weapons. Me? I'm not so sure. Why not? Well, camp's remote, which makes moving the missiles around hard to do once they're there. After they shot down the airliner, they wouldn't want the missiles to stay in one place for too long. In case someone like Alpha Protocol comes along and takes them back. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. Rep. No radio chatter, no alarms. Looks like he did a good job of getting in under their radar. Wish our choppers could. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Bad intel? No, sandstorms. They fuck with the satellite imagery. But they're great for someone moving in on foot. Let you get in for the kill before the bad guys know you're there. So, wait for a storm, use it as cover. That's the idea. Probably won't be that simple. But hey... That's why they sent you instead of me, right?
at the camp. They're dug in pretty deep. Any side of the radio tower? Yeah, it's across the canyon from me. A lot of open ground in between. Try not to get spotted. If you get trapped in there... I know. the radio tower. Now look for the generator. It should be in a building nearby.
to the servers and upload that data. You weren't kidding about the tunnels in this place. They got themselves a hell of a maze down here. Servers need power. Find power lines or work lights. Then follow them to the source. They need to find their way around as much as you do. Looks like I found the old cells, mostly storage. If there's time, see if you can get inside. Sign of the missiles, though. Looks like this place has been cleaned out. Damn. Guess that would have been too much to hope for. All right. Get to the computer if you can. On it. Uploading the information now. A lot of data here. And this system looks pretty state of the art. Receiving. You weren't kidding. Watch your back, they probably got guards on the way. These specs look like Halbeck targeting data tied into the radio tower. Alright. Get topside if you can. We can use the help. Looks like we got company. A lot of it. So I'm pinned down. I got a Blackhawk on the way. Meet up with us topside.
little trouble here. Their radio tower is down, but we're getting more resistance than expected. Can you secure the landing zone? Not a problem. Good job, Mike. Not bad for the new guy. All the missions go as smoothly as this? You're alive, aren't you? Mikey, so you got back safely? Yeah, thanks for the lift out of there. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. About the mission. Yeah, what? Is there a problem? No. I thought we got the mission done. It wasn't easy, but we got through it. Yeah, well, I still don't like the fact that you got the chance to go instead of me. But I can deal with it as long as you catch Shahid. Let me know as soon as you find out anything, Darcy. All right, I'll be in touch, Mikey. getting to Nasri that much easier. American? Nasri said nothing about an American. I'm not looking to advertise my presence. Only to do business. Business, eh? Check with Nasri if you don't believe me. He's waiting for me. And my down payment. <laughs> I call ahead. Go on through. Can't believe you bluffed those guards.
Looks like they figured out I was bluffing. Nasri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. I'll keep an eye out.
out of a lot of stairs. Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use.
got nowhere to run. This should be quick. Give me a sec. Yo, who are you? Omar Mohammed bin Nasri. By order of the United States government, I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? For what? No crime here. Nothing involving United States. You are in possession of illegal shoulder-mounted munitions. We'd rather you not sell them on the black market. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold to who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money! Europe? Guns! Yours, if you let me go. No. We're taking you into custody. The copter will be here to pick you up. And your munitions. What? Oh, look, I pay you. You not hear me, I, I Westridge, say... Westridge, I say I... delivery. On their way, Mike. Can't risk the consequences of letting him go. We can find the missiles some other way. Fair enough. Search the room, see what you can find. So nothing on seven. We're going to need you to transmit the exact coordinates. There's a lot of area to cover, and also my knows how to hide their stockpile.
Got a present for you. A batch of files from the Alcimont servers. Excellent work, Mike. Checking the logs now. The missiles aren't anywhere near the runway. Looks like they're being held in a munitions depot in the mountains. Checking the satellite imagery now. Looks like there's a small trail that leads to the rear of the depot. Marking it on your PDA. On it. I guess this is where planes go to die. Gate sealed off. Must be another way around. All right, check out the surrounding buildings. See if there's another route inside. They're expecting a returning patrol.
feel like I'm back in the detention camp. Generators could make a nice distraction. on the missiles. Looks like they're being loaded into a convoy outside the warehouse. We need to get to it before they roll out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower? No, Shane. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, Shane. It's Shahid. Should I take the shot? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Damn it. Looks like the convoy's already headed out. 
The road the convoy is on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog. get there. Inside, his head's got to be ringing by now. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if Shaheen's still breathing.
So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I'd commend you. But you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. Is, is the blood on your hands not enough? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. Behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Helvet's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapon. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold to you. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference. And everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Halbeck will never answer for what they did. And you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody I will be found, hanged, a suicide. Go back to your Hellbeck masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Halbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen, Mr. Data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Hellbeck uses you. But you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I'll take that PDA of yours. That contact list on it should prove handy. Take it. it will only implicate your country. Proof of the corruption at the heart of yeah, the country. Yeah, that's fascinating. Now, did you ever play make-believe when you were a kid? What? Pretend you can fly. Where are you taking me? Now, you get to get plunged. <laughs> Here. Shahid is dead. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Got his PDA. Looks like that's something to go on. Your first priority is... is Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. What the Get out hell? Of here. How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not yet. You were my first priority. How long will it take you to find out? I'll keep trying to gather information. But I don't know how long it'll take. And I don't have clearance for all parts of the facility. Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? 
Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid. So far, it checks out. Looks like Halbeck's been busy. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated. But I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald's son, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside off a protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. The reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. Was that a question? If so, it's classified. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. company. Care to share? No, not really. Same old Saudi Arabia. Not quite like the brochure, huh? I'm Scarlet. Mike. So, Mike, what brings you to this exciting corner of the world? I'm in claims and acquisitions for Halbeck, apparently. Still getting a feel for the job. Oh. That was my reaction. Or was that an O, oh, as in I've never heard of Halbeck? Oh, as in the sense of yes, I've heard of Halbeck, military and construction contractor. That name comes up a lot in this region. That's right. So if you're familiar with the area, that would make you a... Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Photojournalist. One of the best. Dangerous work around these parts, I'd imagine. If there's no risk, it's not important. I think you're on to something. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. 
If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a normal guy. Are you sure? Mostly. Okay, if you say so. Bad things happen to all kinds of people. You might get lucky. I think I'll keep an eye on you regardless. I'd appreciate that. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Limited access, secure building, high-speed internet. This will work just fine. Anything else? Like... Like the view? Oh, yeah. Could be a sniper risk. I might have to put up heavy curtains. Always the professional, Mike. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori, and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads, too. Getting the lay of the land would be helpful. I'd rather not walk into an ambush if I can help it. Smart plan. Call me when you have anything. 